Hi, this is Groove Dexter, and welcome to Groovy Post. Today we're going to take a look at making your Facebook profile have the hack style image where it's one big image. Um, what we're going to do is work with something we already have. Here I have the Mario theme. We're just going to apply it to this. So we need a template to work with. First thing to do is hold all of the hit print screen. That'll take a snapshot of the window. Now we'll go into Photoshop and make a new document. Let's go ahead and hit OK. And now we'll go ahead and paste the snapshot we just took or screenshot we just took and open up the slice tool. With the slice tool, we're going to select each section of the image. There's actually six different images that make up this one big one that's part of the image hack. So we'll go ahead and select this. And you want to try to be as exact as possible because the wrong size could mess up the way your image looks in the long run. So I'm just zooming in to check and making sure it's right. Um, now we're going to go ahead and do the smaller images. And same thing here, just copy it exactly with the slice tool. Um, the slice tool likes to snap the colors, so it shouldn't be too hard to get it right on. But if you do mess up, it's not a big deal. You'll see here in a second. And you can just drag it right back over when you do mess up. Not a big deal. Just one more to go. And we're done with the slice tool. Now we're going to go ahead and zoom back out and use the selection tool. But if you use the view and go down to snap to, you can go ahead and set it to slice and that way the uh, selection tool automatically snap to all of your slices. This makes it really quick for deleting these segments. So once you select a segment, just go ahead and delete it then you'll be left with empty space on that layer. Now what we're going to do is go back and get our original image that we wanted to put in there. Select all and then copy it. And we're going to paste it right on to the same document and go ahead and uh, move it to a layer below. And now we can just slide it right into place and we'll see how it'll look on your profile. And voila, we're done. At this point, go ahead and go to the file menu and we're going to hit save for web and devices. We want to use the JPEG format with 100% quality, get that up to the max, and then hit save. Now here, go ahead and name your image, and then make sure it's all user slices, and hit save, and it'll go ahead and save it automatically into a folder. At this point, we're going to go on Facebook, go to your profile, click on your profile image, and we're going to upload some photos. So to do that, you got to just go to view all photos of your profile. Go ahead and select all of them. Should be a total of six. Uh, you can name it whatever you like, doesn't really matter here, but make sure you select high resolution because otherwise they might not look good. Alright, publish those, don't need to do anything there. Now we need to do this and select the last image, it's very important you get the last image, and now we're going to go ahead and tag them with your own name. And we're going to work in reverse order here and just continue tagging ourselves with the photo we want to show up last. We'll do that first, and then now we're doing the second to last, and so forth. That's why I'm hitting the previous button up on the top right. Just keep tagging along, tagging along. Got one more to go. One more after this, that is. And then we get to the big photo. Just go ahead and mark this as your profile image. And it should load your profile, but it might take a minute. And there we go. Now you'll notice here that it looks a little bit different. It's not quite lined up. That's because you have all your info and options to enter that info. But when somebody else looks at your profile, it'll line up just nice. And there you have it. That's all there is to making a hacked Facebook profile. Thanks for watching. This is Groove Dexter from Groovy Post. Yeah.